looks like differential fluid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my online arm Italian success BXL. Ooh, BLX, do apologize, got it backwards, uh, uh, punish me. Beautiful body, looks like my Blade 350QX. I've spoken to Bob of Hobby Zone. We talked about the differential fluid that leaked. And I asked him, is there grease on the outside and fluid on the inside? Kind of didn't know. So I also asked him, did this thing come shipped via airlines, maybe high altitude, cause it to leak out? It could be shock fluid. We don't know. He asked me what I like to do. Well, I don't think it's much of a trouble here. I think it's just a little overfill and coming out. And I still see a little bit in the back. And I'm not sure if you guys can notice that. Uh, if you look over here, you can kind of see it. Let me try to get my fingers right over there. I'll leave it there so you can tell. Pause the video at any given time. That's the beauty of the Sony HX90V. It was all over here, all over this area. So I doubt it's going to be this shock, but maybe it is. That's what I'm noticing lately. I'm here in Thorpe, and if you're an electrician, you can answer this question. It's very simple. You got a code for color wires, right? What color wires is missing from this equation besides this red one here? You got it. There's no red lead. So what's going to happen when you plug in your vehicle battery? You're plugging in 50C rated battery. MAH uh, 5200, the 11.16S battery. Woo, baby, you're going to hear that big spark. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to get the uh, dip it red. I got some red electrical tape, but that's going to be all sticky. Take a red magic marker and go over the leads. I'll put some tape around here as well. Now I went over all the bolts, especially the differential, and they were rock solid tight. I did find one real loose one, a couple of loose ones, one strip one. Taking the wing off so I could get to the bolts and couldn't do anything, couldn't move them. I sat here and I span this wound, the wound, the wound, to see if there's any leakages. I noticed that if I keep my wheels straight, one of them seems to be on an angle. Uh, we all talked about the wheel toys, how that was. I mean, never owned a vehicle like this, or many years ago. Whoop, baby, look at that wheel turn. One of the things I like to do, one of the mods I'm going to do, LEDs on here. One of the options I want to do is the wheelie bar. But I don't want T-Bone Racing, so I may look at our GMs, but you guys are more than welcome to send it to me so I could do my review and test on it. I've seen many videos out there. Man, this thing could fly! I don't know where I could go fly, but I may go look for an area. I got sand I could go to, salt water. I don't want to get this all sanded up. Uh, to the, uh, the field, they got some dirt in the back. They may have some bumps, so I may check that out. But I like to sit in my front and go back and forth. I may want to lower this down just a little bit. I would love to change out these tires in due time. 
and I'm not going to shim all three differentials or any of the differentials. I'm not a pro basher like you. I'm a simple, easygoing, online guy like everybody else. I ordered myself an armor Kraden. I canceled it. I got this at Hobby Zone for $449. They had a discount. I had the last 24 hours to decide, and that's why I got both. The pre-order was a simple cancellation. So, what more can I say, do, talk about? Check out many videos out there. Check out my videos. I do appreciate you stopping by. This looks like my Blade 350QX, the color scheme. On that note, I want to say thank you very much. Please rate, comment, show some love.